Anthropic has introduced tool use or function calling in their LLMs as a public beta. So what is function calling in LLMs? So function calling allows LLMs uh, basically you to create code whereby you can execute your functions locally and with this function calling you can augment the LLM to generate better outputs. That is the idea. So the user could have some input. Now the input could be something like, you know, a simple example is a calculator. You want to create a calculator using an LLM. So the input could be a string like what is the result of multiplying two numbers. Okay. So this is your input and this you want to give it as an uh, input to an LLM. An LLM will not be able to do a mathematical expression, um, you know, without using tools, it will not be able to calculate and give an output properly. But here you can introduce a tool called calculator. So what you are going to do is that uh, you are going to tell the LLM that I have a function which can, uh, you know, uh, do uh, which can run code and calculate the output of, you know, uh, performing the function of a calculator. It could evaluate an expression and do calculations, mathematical calculations. Okay. So you are telling the model that, uh, look, I have a function which can do this, right? You are setting up the model to make use of functions. Now, when an input comes from the user, the model will try to understand that, okay, uh, the user is asking for, you know, uh, computation to be done. And then what it does is that it uh, identifies what are the parameters to a function and which function to execute. Okay. And it gives the output as that in the first step. Now in your local code, you are making this API call and you are getting this output. You will execute the local function on the parameters returned by the LLM. And then you will send back that result to the LLM. Okay. Basically the conversation and now the LLM understands that, okay, this is the output of this particular thing, which I have asked for and it generates a response and gives it back to the user. Okay. It could be as simple as you have a third party API over here, which can, uh, you know, I, uh, get the weather conditions of a particular location. So the user input like uh, could be like, what is the weather in Bengaluru? Okay. And you have already told the LLM that, look, there is this function which can call a third party API and it will return the weather conditions. All it needs as input is the location. Okay. Then again, the model will be able to understand from your context that what is the weather in Bengaluru. It understands that I have to call a function. Okay. Get weather details where I have my input as the city or location, which is Bengaluru. Uh, that is the output which comes in the first step. Now you have code which will pass this output, get the location, call this weather uh, API and then return the results that it is summer, it is very hot, the temperature is this much, humidity, all those parameters. Now the model will actually summarize it and give it back to the user. So it is like a weather bot example, which I've told now. So here in this particular blog, the example is GPT-3 Turbo, but now Anthropic has introduced this function calling as beta uh, in uh, their cloud LLMs. So let's go and look into it with the help of a notebook. Okay. So Anthropic has a lot of examples over here of how to, you know, create, um, say a calculator tool with Claude, how to extract a uh, structured JSON. Okay. Using Claude LLM with uh, function calling. So let us look at a couple of examples over here. And before that, uh, you know, as I said, tools are your functions, which you would want to use. Okay. So how does this work? Provide cloud with tools and a user prompt which in your API request. So basically you are defining the set of tools you want cloud to have access to, including their names, description and input schemas. Provide a user prompt that may require the use of one or more of these tools to the answer such as what is the weather in San Francisco. Cloud will use a tool. It assesses the user prompt and decides whether any of the available tools would help with the user query or task. If so, it decides which tool to use and with what inputs. It will construct a properly formatted tool use request. The API response will have a stop reason of tool use indicating that Cloud wants to use an external tool. Now extract this tool input, run code and return the results. Okay. From this second step from the API response, you extract tool input, run code and return results with back to Claude. Then Claude will use a tool result to formulate a response. That is the idea. In some cases, three and four may be optional for some workflows, but this is a general workflow. Okay. So what is required over here? We need to specify a tool and what are the things which are required to be, uh, for specifying tools? 
each tool will have each tool definition will include the name the name of the tool it has to match a particular regex basically this is their requirement a detailed plain text description of what the tool does when it should be used and how it behaves and then an input schema which is a json schema object defining the expected parameters for the tool so let's go into our example and understand these parts okay so from their cookbook i am going to look at this particular uh, you know calculator tool with claude so for that you need to install anthropic library first okay so once you do that uh, you have to import uh, anthropic from anthropic library basically and then what you are going to do over here is that you are going to create an anthropic client but for that you require an api key um, so you can go to the console over here in anthropic and create an api key okay uh, once you create the API key over here, uh, you can store it as a secret in your hugging face secret, uh, sorry, in your collab uh, secrets basically. So here in the collab notebook, I have created a secret anthropic API key and I've copied the API key over here. From Google collab import user data. This is how I can get the API key. And then I create a client over here, anthropic API key is equal to API key. And the model name over here is that Cloud3 Opus. Okay, I'm creating an anthropic client over here and the model which I'm going to use is Opus. Okay, uh, Opus LLM, that is what I'm going to use. They have Opus, Haiku, Sonnet for Cloud3. Opus is their biggest model. I'll be making use of that over here. Okay, now I'm going to define a method over here to calculate, you know, given an input as an expression, it has to calculate, perform the job of a calculator. It has to evaluate that expression and this thing. So this is the method. Okay. So here is an expression from the expression. You will remove all the non digit or non operator characters. That is what is done. It's a clean cleaning the expression. And then you are going to call the inbuilt method eval in your regex libraries to do the expression. So that is what uh, it will evaluate, uh, evaluate it. For example, if you give two plus four, it will give the output as six. Okay. That is the result. And you are going to return the uh, result as a string. If there is any error during the evaluation, you are going to return as uh, invalid expression. Okay. So that is why this is in the try catch block. So this is a local method. Okay. In this workflow, this is the local method which we have defined. Now we have to define a tool. Okay. As per how Anthropic wants us to define tools. Okay. So the name of the tool is calculator. The description is a simple calculator that performs basic arithmetic operations. This is the free text natural language description. There is this input schema. Um, so we are creating an object over here, a JSON object and the properties are input is expression. Basically it's of type string and description is the mathematical expression to evaluate. Okay. And this is required parameter. That is why you have required expression. So this is how a tool is defined. Tool has a name, a description, a free text description and an input schema along with what is the required parameters. Okay. The input schema has uh, basically a JSON object with what are the input parameters. This is how we have defined a tool, a calculator tool. Now we can uh, interact with Claude. So we define a process tool call where we pass the tool name and tool input. If the tool name is calculator, it will call the calculate method with the in, uh, input. Okay. So that is what is done over here. Now we are creating a method to chat with Claude. Uh, the input is your user message. Okay. The user query. The first thing we need to do is that we need to, uh, you know, send this input response along with the model, along with the definition of tools, not input response, basically input along with the model name and tools, which we are using to our uh, Anthropic API. Basically, this is the API call. Okay. So here we are sending the user message along with the tools definition, right? So then you get the initial response back from the model. If the message has stop reason as tool use, that means that, uh, Claude over here has uh, assessed the input and it has found out that a tool needs to be used. In our case, the tool is actually calculator and it also has identified the tool parameters. So we'll call process tool call with the tool name and tool input. And we'll get the output, which is the tool result. Okay. Then we again make the API call as per this workflow. We again make the API call whereby we'll be sending the tool result. Okay. Along with the previous user message, right? Along with the conversation flow, uh, which has come from Claude API. 
uh, to generate our final result. So here also we are specifying the tools again when we are passing it to the API. Okay. And this is how you get the output. So if we were to try out this, say we can say chat with Claude and we can give an input like this. What is the result of multiplying two large numbers? Okay, like this. So what it does over here is that first it says that, uh, you know, uh, initial response, what is the result of multiplying this thing? Uh, in the content, if you look at uh, the stop reason will be tool use. If you look at the content is that the user is asking to calculate the result of multiplying two large numbers. This would require us to make use of a calculator function. Okay, a calculator a tool. That is what is this thing and the tool reason is tool use. Stop reason basically is tool use. And the tool which needs to be used is a calculator. This is the tool input, which is the expression. So it has extracted this expression as a parameter and it has created this JSON object, which is your input parameter to your um, method okay, or tool. And the tool which needs to be used is calculator. Okay. Now what happens is that you are going to call process tool function with these inputs, right? And it will internally call your calculate method and it will get the output, which is your tool result. Now this is again sent as your text to your uh, model and from uh, your, uh, you know, another API call is made to Claude Opus and from there you get the result saying that the result of multiplying these numbers is this particular number. Okay. So you have now completed this workflow. You are sending two large numbers as input. You are telling Claude Opus that, look, I have a calculator function and this is my input. Claude Opus has understood that a tool calculator needs to be used and these are the parameters. Basically, this is the expression which needs to be extracted from this and it gives that as an input. Or locally, you have understood that a tool needs to be used, which is your calculator and the input parameters are, come. Uh, you know, you got it from the LLM response. You have then uh, called the method locally you are executed the method locally, you have got the output, you are sending it back to the LLM, the LLM summarizes and gives it back to you. Okay, so that is the idea over here. Alright, so when I tried these three things for the third case, I got an error saying that some rate limits for using Opus. But then I again tried this, uh, this thing just, just to specifically see if I can get an error. So I tried what is this number divided by zero. And here it said that user wanted to calculate this, uh, you know, number divided by zero. So it said calculator needs to be used in the first step. But uh, the output of the tool result is error invalid expression, which is then sent to the model. Uh, then the final response, it says that it is not possible to divide by number zero. It results in undefined mathematical operation. Division by zero is not allowed since, uh, you know, would result in infinity. The calculator return error for this invalid expression. So it gives that explanation. Okay. So for example, we can try another case over here. Uh, say we can divide by minus one. Let's see what happens. So it takes some time for executing this. All right. Uh, in the meanwhile, maybe we can check out, uh, you know, how you can extract structured data. Um, there are some other use cases over here, like article summarization or say named entity recognition using tools. Okay. Let's see quickly if it has, okay, it has done it over here. Uh, stop reason is tool use again. It has identified that the calculator tool is the relevant tool for performing this mathematical operation. Uh, so actually, yeah. So this number divided by minus one equals this negative number. So it gives the output over here. Okay. So this is how you can make use of tools. Uh, basically function calling with Claude. Uh, there are other notebooks also over here where they talk about how you can make use of, you know, uh, to perform various or uh, basically these tools to perform various other things like sentiment analysis, right, text classification, uh, or to do, uh, you know, named entity recognition, or to create a structured output. Okay, so you can look at uh, this particular notebooks as well as other examples over here of function calling. Right, they have other examples of function calling also over here. Uh, okay, this notebook is depreciated, so we'll not look into it, but uh, there are other customer service agent examples also over here. So you can look at these examples to understand more about function calling. They also have good documentation over here on how to specify tools, how to specify, you know, uh, how to make use of this tool and get result content blocks. It talks about that. Right. And they also talk about, you know, uh, how to get JSON output, how to do error handling. Right. 
and uh, even chain of thought tool use. So you can look at this documentation to understand more about it. Uh, there are also uh, best practices and limitations currently. Um, so use Cloud3 Opus for navigating complex tool use. Haiku if you are dealing with straightforward tools. That is what they are saying over here. Opus is able to handle the most simultaneous tools and better at catching missing arguments compared to other models. It is most likely to ask for clarification in ambiguous case when an argument is not explicitly given and things like that. Haiku defaults to trying to use tools more frequently. So they have given the limitations also over here. Number of tools all models can handle correcting choosing a tool from 250 plus tools provided the user query contains all necessary parameters for the intended tool with more than 90% accuracy. That is what they are claiming over here. If you have complex and deeply nested tools, uh, Claude will struggle to use the correct tool. Yeah, that is understandable. Uh, it can make sequential tool use. It uses one tool at a time, then uses the output of the tool to inform its next action. While you can prompt Cloud to use multiple tools in parallel, but I think it's better to design sequential tool use. If Cloud's tool use request is invalid or missing required parameters, you can return error message and Cloud will usually retry the request. Okay. You can also when uh, you can also debug uh, when unexpected tool use behavior. Um, yeah. Pay attention to Cloud's chain of thought output to understand why it is making the choices. Basically, you can prompt and you, when debugging, you can look at how it uh, you can improve the usage of tools. Okay, and uh, when you are using search quality uh, search tools, the model may return search quality reflection XML tags and a search quality score in its response. So you can stop this by doing something like adding a sentence do not reflect on the quality of return search results in your response. So they have put some limitations over here. So you can look at it. Uh, yeah, so you can try out their uh, examples, right? And you can look at how you can build agents and other things. So this was about function calling with Claude. Okay, it's currently in public beta. I'll be sharing uh, the links to the repositories over here as well as this, uh, you know, documentation. Do check out. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.